Hey everyone, Technomentary here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to access Samsung Secure Folder. So let's get started. Very first thing is if you have not set it up, you can set it up by going into your setting. And from your setting here, you should see under security and privacy or under the option for your search here, you can search for secure folder setting. So you're going to go ahead and tap on that. And once you tap on that, you're going to want to first set up a pin. So if you haven't set up a pin for it, right, I already have set up a pin. I can just use that. You can change the type of security you want. You can use a pin or you can use a different uh, style as well, passwords, whatever it is, basic to secure that folder. Now, you can also have option to when you want to lock it. So each time you turn off the screen or leave the app, for example, it'll lock that folder. And if you want that app, folder to show up on app screen you can turn that off and then there's other settings as well on how you can manage it but with this setup what this will essentially allow you to do is store if you look at an app there's going to be an app called secure folder right it's basically a folder that's protected by the password or the pin that you put on and then if you wanted to go ahead and see the content you'll have to enter or know that special pin or code and you can see which apps you can add here. Now what you can do is if you needed to add or remove app you just click on that plus icon pick an app or a photo or a video for example if you wanted to add something here right we can just go ahead and add that on click on add if you wanted to remove something you can also do that by clicking on it to remove and you can access this from here as well so this will allow you to basically store your secure information like photos videos apps as well and then also remove them if you don't want it you can go ahead and remove it from here again really easy way to add and secure your information on your samsung phone so that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks see you guys next time